What's up guys, Cerulean here, and today I'm just going to show you a real quick tutorial on how to get rid of that black background that keeps showing up in uh, a lot of people's renders apparently. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me on Skype and under and wondering, oh, how do I get rid of, the, rid of this and why is it still here? And even after um, doing a couple, even if I, I mean, even after watching like a couple tutorials and stuff like that, and even watching my own tutorial, um, I even followed the steps to mine. I mean, it worked for me, but I mean, not everybody, because obviously no one would be messaging me on Skype or commenting and just not saying this, is, this isn't working. So anyway, um, let me just show you a quick fix to all of this, and if it still doesn't work, then um, you're going to have to download QuickTime, and then we'll have to go through all these settings once again. So anyway, um, I don't have QuickTime even downloaded, so I think it's... I think I do actually. So um, let me just show you real quick. Um, here's my render settings. Well, I have to set them. I'm not going to show you mine because there's really no point of just showing you mine and then, you know, just wondering why yours doesn't work because there's also another step you have to once you render the amount. So once you uh, just, you know, finish your render right now and then watch this video. So that's basically what I have to say. Um, then go to your output. I usually do 1280 by 720, which is 720p, um, which is HD, as you can see right here, 6 by 9. Um, then I usually have pixels. DPI would be 300. It doesn't have to be 300. I'd rather it be 300. Um, then this will be selected to TIFF. Actually, this will be unselected. Sorry about that. Um, well, not to be confused, this has to be selected. I just failed on this tutorial earlier. That's why. Um, yeah, I do have QuickTime open, I mean, installed. So, real quick, um, go into PNG, just go to Alpha Channel. Then, um, I'm going to go back to these settings in a second, just in case yours doesn't work. Um, and then you can add in your ambient occlusion and this and that, and then I'm going to render this out real quick. Okay, once it renders out, go to File, Save As, and then make sure Alpha Channel is checked down here and format is, um, is PNG. Make sure it's a still image also, unless if you're making an animation that's completely different. Um, then you can click OK, then save it as whatever. Um, and then there you go. There's no background. Now let me show you real quick. Um, if I say if I take that alpha channel off, if I take alpha channel off, there will be actually what am I doing? Uh, take alpha channel off. Go to here. Save it, and there you go. There's your black background. That proves that Alpha Channel works, and um, it's the reason why your things are, I mean, your renders are, are having that black background. So say this still doesn't work, that you even check the, uh, the black, I mean, the um, Alpha Channel. Well, what you have to do is go to here, and go to Output, actually go to Save, install QuickTime before even opening um, I'll give you a link to that. Install QuickTime 7 or 8 or whatever number it is right now. Go down to PNG, go to PN, QuickTime PNG, then select Alpha Channel, then go down, then exit out of this, then render it out, like I just said earlier. Um, save, make sure your settings is set accordingly, which, let's go down to QuickTime PNG, then go OK, save it over that, save, or you don't have to save it over that, but whatever. Um, and then there you go. It's saved the same exact way. It has to be PNG format, and it also has to have alpha channel checked. So I hope that really cleared up everything. Um, I gave multiple methods, and if it still doesn't work, um, it might even be your Cinema 4D. So either, you know, downgrade, upgrade. I use R15 because I don't like R16 at all. Um, it's just the way it's set up. It's nothing against R16. It's actually really good. The render is really good and stuff like that. I just, I'd rather sacrifice the renderer being a tiny bit better then um then you know like me not even be able to navigate through it because i just I, don't know, I just don't like it it's just something about it so anyway i hope this helped you and if you're having this problem again you can contact me on skype anytime i'm always on and um you can also comment below and maybe somebody else can help you or i can you know message you or something like that always be on and stuff like that so um again like i said any questions just message me on skype or comment below so if you like this video or whatever, I don't really like asking for uh, for um, likes and stuff like that. But if you want to like it, you can go ahead. If you want to favorite it, whatever you want to do, go ahead. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.